Hi guys, I'm so excited to be making my very first YouTube video. This is insane, but here we are. it would be really fun for my very first vlog to be kind of like a mix of a day in a life and a short intro i wanted to keep it like super casual very natural because i really want this to kind of act like my online diary i just want to give you guys like a very real glimpse as to my life and i thought now is the perfect time to do this. I have so many changes that are happening in my life, so I'm gonna make another video kind of highlighting all of those, but it's some big stuff. I thought I can just kind of show you like what is the day in the life of an artist who also happens to work a nine to five in the city. So I have like two full-time jobs. I am very happy at being busy. I don't know if any of you guys are, but that's kind of just how I work best. Hi guys, I just got home from work. I'm starving. I'm gonna make my favorite, which is chicken pot pie. I got it from Whole Foods. All of my friends from college know I'm obsessed with chicken pot pies. It's like part of my personality at this point. This is my favorite part of the night. I have an Olipop. This is my favorite flavor. I also like the grape one, but I have this like a couple times a week and put in a wine glass to make it fancy because I don't drink a lot or often at all. I usually don't drink during the week. I just have like this. The foam is so good. Cheers. Happy Monday, everybody. I'm also going to take you guys through like a very in-depth dive as to how I prepare for an art fair. This is only my second fair, but I feel like I learned a lot my very first Renegade Craft Fair, so I'll share what I learned and um, hopefully it can help some of you guys if you're looking to do a craft fair. I'm for sure going to film an entire vlog of Renegade this weekend. I didn't realize how exhausting it would be it's a lot so you guys will get to see that firsthand which will be kind of cool i have so many prints look at that this isn't even half of them i have a whole other stack i have prints that are on my website and then a lot of like hidden ones that have never been on my website before so you can only get them at the fair so if you're in chicago come say hi and check it out I feel like the first vlog would be a perfect opportunity to tell you guys about my brand, which is called Firenza Art. I started this brand in 2019. I've been drawing and creating my entire life, and I kind of like stepped away from art a bit in college. I started missing it so much, something just felt missing in my life. So I dove back headfirst into art. I made an Instagram and I was posting on it every single day. When I came home from my nine to five, I'd post on the train and it just became like such a happy little routine for me. I absolutely loved it. So I started this art Instagram and it was really fun. I didn't have a lot of followers at all but I was having such a good time kind of just navigating this social media space. And then the pandemic hit 
and that's kind of where everything changed for me was during the pandemic which is so crazy to think about but i remember i was just trying to kind of find my voice kind of find my style again and i did i remember the moment i did i was like this feels right i'm entering in a direction that feels really authentic to me and it kind of like blew up from there i remember like thousands of people were seeing my art and i think it was because so many people were on their phones so i think instagram kind of reached a peak for like small creators like me but it was awesome because i gained a really big following and i realized holy cow i could actually do something with this and it's always been my dream to be an artist and this actually might be a real thing. So fast forward a couple months, my first really big gig, if you wanna say, or collaboration, that's actually what I should say, was with Casetify, and they reached out to me asking if I wanted to do some collaboration with them and make an artist collection, and I was so happy. Probably my favorite collab I've ever done, and that really kicked off i think my art career and led to some of my biggest opportunities yet i actually have one of my case to five cases right here this is one of my favorite ones and i will make sure to link it so you guys can check out my shop but long story short that's kind of how fiorenza art was born it has always been a dream of mine to be an artist it's always been a dream to share my work on social media but I was kind of scared I didn't know where to start and I finally did and it paid off because I've gotten to meet so many amazing people and it's taken me to some really awesome places and I've done cool things I'm really proud of so I really just want this channel to kind of act like a diary for me like a way so I can keep track of all the progress I've made and so I can connect with you guys and just like meet friends on YouTube. I really want to meet other creators and just kind of see what I can learn. I'm going to finish up packing some orders and signing some prints. So that is all for my very first vlog. Please let me know what kind of content you guys would like to see from me. I'm so excited to be on this little journey with you all and thank you for watching and I will see you in the next vlog.